2021 is a year UHP troopers and UDOT officials would like to forget in the terms of carnage on our roads. 320 people losing their lives last year. Fox 13 Scott McCain is live outside the Public Safety Headquarters building with the very latest on these numbers. Hi, Scott. Yeah, good morning, guys. Uh, yeah, pretty somber press conference, press briefing here today at uh, DPS headquarters in Taylorsville. And first and foremost, because everyone involved realizes these aren't just numbers. These are individuals who are now gone from family, friends, and loved ones. And in a lot of instances, uh, these are deaths that could have been prevented. Uh, they also know, again, that the, as a state, we are trending in the wrong direction. Those 320 lives lost on Utah roads last year, well, that represents a 16% increase from the year before that, 2020. 2020 saw a more than 11% increase in roadway carnage from the year before that. Woods have never been safer. Our cars have never been safer. Our driving behaviors can be a lot safer. Too many people are taking risks. They're driving too fast. They're driving distracted. They're driving impaired. They're driving drowsy. And they're driving unbuckled. Yeah, and again, so many of these deaths preventable, in particular when it comes to buckling up, as the commissioner mentioned, and speed. Last year, UHP troopers making contact with 123,000 drivers on our roads on speed-related issues. Of that number, 4,700 individuals were driving in excess of 100 miles an hour. Troopers all across the state are seeing the effects of all of this carnage. They're the ones that have to show up and see these, you know, mangled cars and deceased individuals. It takes a toll on them as well. So a very difficult situation and all these officials pleading with everyone out there just to slow down. Don't drive impaired, drowsy or unbuckled. There are so many little things you can do when you get behind the wheel to ensure that your journey is a safe one. For now, we're live in Taylorsville. Scott McCain, Fox 13 News, Utah.